hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to perform insert update edit delete records in a grid view using SQL data source after end of this video tutorial the final output will be I'm adding the records in a grid view control Charan Charan at gmail.com add records and see how the record is added I am editing the record from Charan to Ben update. See, the employee name has been changed from Charan to Ben. Now I am deleting the record employee name Ben. Delete. See, now the grid view is totally empty. I deleted the record Ben. I am creating a new project for this video tutorial. Go to file, new project. I am choosing ASP.NET web application and the .NET framework is 4.6.1 and the project name is grid view crash SQL data source. Click OK. I'm choosing empty template. Okay. And the project has been successfully created. Go to Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm creating a new web form page. Right click the project name, add new item. I'm choosing web form. And the file name is grid view crude. Click add. And here we got our newly created page grid view hyphen crude.aspx with a default HTML5 code. Now between form and due tag, I'm adding grid view control data grid view control and here we got the grid view control uh, i want to put this grid view control in the center in the center of the browser center copy it paste here h1 how to insert delete update and select in a in a grid view using SQL data source horizontal line before connecting to the SQL data source let's log into my SQL server We'll check the table and the column names. I just logged into Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. I'm expanding the databases. The sample DB is my user database. I'm expanding that one. As well as the tables also I'm expanding. For this demo purpose, I'm using dbo.emp table. Right click the table name. Select top thousand rows. And here we got the results of this dbo.emp table and notice this table contains zero rows which means the table is totally empty. Now my aim is using SQL data source on a grid view control I want to operate inserting, deleting, updating and selecting commands. Let's switch back to Visual Studio. We'll finish the rest of the code. I'm back to the ASP.NET source code. Now let's connect to SQL data source with this grid view control. Switch to the design mode. And in the grid view, notice there is a small button which is a grid view task. Click that one. Choose data source, new data source. I'm choosing SQL database. 
I'm not changing the ID of the data source. I'm leaving as it is, which is a default one. Click OK. New connection. My server name is user. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. The sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting that one. Test connection. It succeeded. Click OK. Click OK. Next. Next. Now here in this name, the drop down list, I'm selecting the EMP table name. Click next. Test query. And here we got the table results on the previous section. The table is totally empty. Click finish. Now let's check this data source connection string in the web.config file. See here, the data source connection is added in the web.config file. So let's close this. Switch back to the source page. Now I'm adding some properties to this grid view control. Empty data text is equals to when the table is totally empty, I want to display the message no records found. And the next property I'm adding data key names is equals to the data key name is the employee ID. And I want to show show header when empty, which is true. After adding these properties to the grid view control, I'm adding after the grid view control. EMP name text box control text box break email text box control next break I need only two text box controls, one for the employee name and second one for the email. Now I need a button control to insert the values. The button control I'm putting in the P tag, toolbox, button control. Now I'm changing the IDs of these text box controls, text, EMP name. Text, email, the ID button one I'm making to button insert. Add records is a button text value. Now I need the insert command statement which I am adding in the SQL data source. After the select command, here I'm adding the insert command. Insert command is insert into the table name is paste here values. The column names are at EMP name comma at email. After adding the insert command in the SQL data source, now we need a function for the button control. Right click the source page, view code. After the page load event, 
protected while insert record object sender event ox e SQL data source one dot insert method. Let's copy this insert record function name. Switch back to the source page. In the button click event, on click is equals to insert record. After adding the insert record function to this button control, now we need the insert parameters. ASP control parameter name is equals to EMP name type which is a data type is a string and the control id is equals to the control id is a text box emp name just paste this one here asp control parameters name I'm sorry, not this one. Email is equals to email type, which is string, and the control ID is equals to text email. Paste here. That's it. We have done up to inserting part. Let's insert the values into this EMP table Google Chrome and here we got the output of that code grid view control with the header text and the message no records found because the table is totally empty and also we have added two text box controls employee name and the email and one button control Let's insert the records. Charan, charan at gmail.com add records. And notice the grid view, the employee Charan is added. Now the second one is, we'll update the records. Let's switch over to Visual Studio and stop debugging. Now after insert parameters, I'm adding update parameters, ASP parameter name to update the parameters, we need the employee ID employee id here and type which is an integer value in 32 asp parameter name employee name type string ASP parameter, the last one, name, email, type, string. After adding the update parameters and the column names, now I am adding the update command in the SQL data source, update command is equals to update 
the table name is this one set emp name is equals to at emp name comma email is equals to at email where employee id is equals to at employee id after adding the update command the last one we need to add the update link in this grid view control asp ASP command field button type I want to make the button type is a link button and the last parameter I'm adding show edit button is equals to true that's it let's update the records in this EMP table from the grid view control click Google Chrome And here we got the new output after adding the update command and the edit link. I am editing the employee name from Charan to Jack. Click edit. Jack. And the email is jack123 at gmail.com. Update. And see here, the employee record has been updated from Charan to Jack. Now the last one is to delete the record. Let's quickly switch over to the Visual Studio. We'll write the command delete the records in a grid view control. And stop debugging. Now the last command I'm adding delete command after update command. Delete command is equals to delete from the table name is dbo.emp where I need the employee ID let's copy this one and this is the delete command after adding the delete command in the SQL data source we need the delete parameters which I am adding after update parameters delete parameters now in this delete parameters I am adding only the employee ID that's it now the last one we need to add the link button show delete button is equals to true now it's testing time to delete the record from this EMP table from a grid view control. Google Chrome. And here we got the final output also. We got a delete link button in a grid view control. Now I'm deleting this Jack employee name. Delete. And notice here in the grid view, the Jack record has been deleted and we got a message no records found that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos